Welcome! I would like to present you the Madness. The Madness is our most radical waveboard. Hollow conditions, super windy conditions, side shore, onshore, offshore, it just does it all. It's that waveboard that the most experienced or even a pro would decide to choose to ride. But one of the special features we offer for this board is the flatter rocket choice. The board already is very fast. All our boards are designed to play in early and be very fast. But with the flatter rocket choice, you add that little bit of extra acceleration to get planing. And it's like the sixth gear once you're sailing on, on the high end speed. It still maintains the qualities of wave riding. It still maintains the easiness of wave riding because of the thin and very narrow pin tail. So turns are very easy to do, but just with a little bit of extra speed. We always try to maintain smooth lines, means we don't interrupt curves. We have a progressive, continuous curves on the outline. The board especially has a very thin part in the tail. This is meant to be special to maintain the grip in the wave face doing a turn or initiating a bottom turn or a jibe or whatever. It just gives you that little bit of extra control and feeling of grip, which you always want to have to not lose the confidence on the board. We then go have a, a progressive volume distribution all the way to the front. It is a bit thicker in this area, in the, in the front area, which is, gives you that little bit of extra lift when you're going through a shore break or when you're digging the nose in a turn and it pops up again. The main feeling you will always have on all our boards really is that you jump on it and you just feel balanced. You just feel, feel it comfortable that you can just say, okay, go for it. The idea of the very narrow shape of the pintail is that the actual back part of the board sinks deeper in the water and gives you that little bit of extra traction like a big fin would do. The bottom shape of the board, we have a monoconcave all the way from the nose of the board, going to the mid part of the board where it starts to slowly come up and start to get flatter because we're starting to get double concave between the feet ending up as a flat V in the back end tail of the board. Or well, the concept behind this idea is the water flow sucks the bottom surface of the board to the water, giving you that, that extra bit of control in hard conditions, choppy conditions or whatever. The double concave in between the feet, just to give that extra release, like having all this bit of the board, the control, here you have the release, it just allows you that easiness of turnability. The sharp rails on the back end area will re make the water release of the, on, the, on the surface. So actually that release will make to combine with the tail shape and the bottom shape will make the fins work more. It makes it very easy for turning. Then obviously the more front area, you don't have a fin, so you need to work with the rails. Rounded rails will make the board grip on the surface, either being for bottom turn, for a jibe, or whatever maneuver you're just trying to achieve at that moment, it will give you that control to finish the turn. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any other questions, please get in touch with me and I would be very happy to help you out. designed and developed in the Canary Islands.